If you have to relocate to a new city for a job or inherited a home recently, there's a chance you may consider leaving the house unoccupied. If you own a rental home, it's impossible to ensure 100% rental occupancy. But there are some genuine dangers to letting a property sit vacantly. Drew Allen with the Calgary Home Sale Channel, and here are some of the problems associated with vacant properties. Insurance has restrictions. There's a difference between vacant and unoccupied properties. Vacant properties are empty and there's little or no furniture in there. Unoccupied homes still have belongings inside them, but no one is living there. Insurance companies allow you to leave your home unoccupied for a certain period, usually 30 to 60 days or more, but you must contact the insurance provider to check for specific requirements. If you fail to notify your insurer, any potential claim on the property will be rejected and the policy could be dropped. Also, insurance for vacant homes is expensive, almost twice the price. It also includes several restrictions. Keep that in mind. You incur expenses. Regardless whether you live in a house or not, you still have to pay taxes, which could be thousands of dollars per year. You may also have to install a security system to keep the property safe and prevent theft. There's also the dilemma about keeping the utilities on in a vacant property. If you're disconnecting them, selling the house can be difficult because home inspectors can't check the gas or electricity, heating or appliances. Plus, showing the house at night isn't fun, uh, but keeping utilities on is going to cost you. If like me, you do live in the prairies and you turn some of the utilities off, say for example, the gas, or the electricity, but happen to leave the water on, that could turn into burst pipes and problems. So be aware. With vacant properties, there is the danger of theft and vandalism, or even squatters. You may have kept your valuables in a safe place, but there are plenty of things that could be stolen. Thieves have gone so far as to steal pipes, AC components, or even appliances, and some could break in and just do damage to properties. In extreme cases, for homes left vacant for very long periods of time, there is the added threat of squatters taking over your house. That's right, somebody moving into the house and using it as their own. Now, if you don't act quickly, it can be challenging to evict a squatter. Don't ask me how I know that. Sometimes you even have to seek legal counsel to take care of the problem. A better solution if you aren't going to sell the house is to get it tenanted right away. If it's your personal residence and you're going to be away for more than 30 to 60 days, get someone to sit the house for you. If you're not going to have it tenanted or have someone sit the house for you, contact your insurance company and work on getting vacant property insurance. Again, as I mentioned, It'll probably be a bit more expensive, but have coverage on the house while you're gone. If it's become a problem and it's time to give up the house, consider selling. Remember, if it needs a lot of work, it may be best suited for an investor. Agents like myself specialize in helping get rid of problem properties, as our investors are always on the lookout for project homes. So don't worry about having to fix too much up. If you have a home in the Calgary area that's vacant and you're thinking of selling, reach out to me. My contact information is down below. My name is Drew. Don't forget to subscribe for more home buying and selling tips, and I will catch you in the next video.